Andrew, uh, Bob. Yo. Turn around, Bob. Oh. Hey, Bob. <laughs> it's you. scriptures and verses that we'd like to share with you. And we're going to come across uh, a bit of humour 
uh, we, we believe in uh, reaching people through uh, humour as well as, uh, as the word. Yeah, the, that's uh, correct. Bob. That's correct. That's right, Bob. <laughs> yes. All right. So, we're going to believe, uh, begin. So, we're the Happy Clappers. We've introduced ourselves, haven't we? Happy yes, Clappers happy from South Australia. Yeah. Um, Bob and Bob. Yep. All right. Okay. Let's uh, take a seat. Uh, you may be seated. Uh, turn to somebody. And just and uh, welcome them and shake hands and introduce yourself. Shake hands yeah. to two people. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, a lot of people, uh, relationships, a lot of people get it wrong. A lot of people don't realise you have to put God first. That's correct. And we'll explain uh, why. And we'll give you some uh, scriptures to, to um, back them up, back up the uh, what we're saying here. So basically, you've all heard by putting God first, um, God's first, mm. and then comes uh, anything else below that. So in a married couple, it's God, yeah. it's husband, wife, and children. So putting God's first. Yeah. So if we um, give a parable, say, right. if something fails, if you put your trust in anything in this world, if something fails, which this world always has a failure. Yeah. So, I'll give an example mm. first, um, Bob. Right. If you put, if you start topping up your superannuation, mm -hmm. and uh, instead of just taking the normals at nine and a half percent, whatever it is these days, from your salary, something and, like that, and you yep. say, okay, right. this yep. is good. I, I'm well right now in economic times, no one's making money. No. But let's say, for instance, uh, uh, things turn around. And uh, that you're getting five percent, ten percent yeah. return, and you start okay. I want to throw in twenty percent of my income into the super, mm. um, yeah. and and then reap those benefits. Right. And what's happened in the past with super? Uh, it, it's crashed, has not it? Yes. People have lost their lifetime yeah, savings. Right. Exactly. And this is a thing of this world, and it shows lives. And, yeah. and this is what we're talking about. Yeah. So you cannot. Um, another example is a relationship. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can break down. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, so for example, you know, we 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 must at all costs put God number one in our life. So we can we can look at say um, Peter in the boat. Now he took his eyes off of Jesus mm. and he fell. He did. Now I, if only he'd keep his eyes fixed on Jesus, mm. he would be okay. Mm. Okay. That's right. That's right. So, so we must, we must at all costs. We just, we, we need, need to put God first, mm. and then come to other people, our wives, girlfriends, children, etc. Because it's promised in, in Scripture by putting God first, God's always there. Mm. Every time uh, you go on for a relationship breakup, mm. uh, most people relate to this. You can be devastated. It, it can take um, months, even years, you know, probably not years, but weeks, months yeah. out of your life of depression yeah. when you lose someone you love. Yeah. So, and the thing is, if you idolise, if the Bible says, no idols, if you idolise no. someone, you're going to be, you're going to um, fall. You're gonna fall. Yeah. When, they, when that breaks down, you will break down with it. But God is never going to break down. He's always, he's our creator. Uh, once you realise He creates us, He's done everything for us, and you and you put your trust in God, everything else comes second place. Yeah. So when you pray, go to church on Sundays, even Fridays, and Bible study on Wednesday nights, whatever the case may be, yeah. jump on YouTube, watch Scripture, right. and you put God first. And so, and you watch your life start to grow. You you start to reap the benefits, and you will get God's blessing. Exactly. Let's go to um, let's go to First Corinthians eleven uh, three three. Mm -hmm. Right. Ah, uh, Bob. Bob. That's it. So, one two first. Yeah, I do two two, two Corinthians uh, eleven and three. three. Okay. So it says in two Corinthians eleven verse three. But I am afraid that somehow, as the serpent seduced Eve 
by its cunning, your minds might get corrupted away from the sincerity and the chastity that are due for Christ. So basically what they're saying there is uh, if you don't put God first, yeah. you're going to be open to attack from enemy. Yeah. And the biggest area making you get attacked is in the mind. Yeah. Uh, then you will see self destructive you put some doubt in your mind. Yeah. Uh, we put the doubt in, in uh, Eve's mind about uh, knowledge That's right. and poets come into eating the apple and it just all back down from there. Um, yeah. So basically, well, let's go to, 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 to Corinthians. We'll do Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3. Mm -hmm. So it says here, But I want you to know that the head of every man is Christ, is the Christ. In turn, the head of a woman is the man. In turn, the head of the Christ is God. Okay, there we go. <coughs> it's talking about putting things in perspective. So, the um, woman is slightly lower than the man. Man is authority. Uh, the woman was basically needs to submit to man. A uh, woman was made uh, for man. And man was made uh, before that. So, and Jesus came here to save us. Yes. Uh, that our we have to put our uh, priority in God. God first. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, and then uh, ourselves, men, and uh, women out there. I'm sorry, but there's no prejudice here. But uh, you're there as well with men. But this slightly below. With authority. So when the decisions are made, a man has override on that decision. So a uh, woman needs to be submissive, and uh, that way it, is, uh, it cuts out all those arguments. If you're a married woman uh, to a good godly man, then uh, you're not going to have uh, a lot of big issues because life will work out anyway. It does work out when you trust in God. A righteous man uh, gets many, many rewards. And, um, that's pretty much how it's going to work. That's right. So, yeah. and, and um, now let's go to um, 1 John 5 yeah. 12. 5 12, okay. Mm -hmm. Now it says here, He that has the Son has this life. He that does not have the Son of God does not have this life. Yeah, so uh, yeah. you want to elaborate on that one? So he who has the son yep. has his life. Yes. Who, he who has um, the son, the talking about here is, is Jesus. So whoever has Jesus yep. has life. Yep. If you don't have Jesus in your life, yep. um, then you, you don't have a life. You're basically uh, just in survival mode, yep. and this world will eat you up pretty quick because you will have false idols that could be. Um, Idolizing uh, a girlfriend, idolizing yeah. alcohol, idolizing drugs, yeah. and all those things will, can fall apart, yeah. just like a, a, a rotten tooth will fall out in the cave. That's what they, yeah. You know, things aren't made to last. Yeah. Uh, mm. This uh, cameraman needs to adjust the camera. Right. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we turn now to um, 1 John 3, verse 7, 7 to 8. And 8 yeah. Okay, so here we go. Little children, let no one mislead you. He who carries on righteousness is righteous, just as that one is righteous. He who carries on sin originates with the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest, namely to break up the works of the devil. That's right. Yeah. So, so, so yeah, you, you just got to um, stick to the Ten Commandments and more. You, you, you need to... Um, basically avoid things that are going to get you in trouble. Once we open the door to demons, um, drunkenness, yeah. drugs, yep. uh, gambling, sex, the process, uh, yeah, unmarried, uh, yep. uh, once you open that door, you allow demons in and, and basically can uh, they have authority. If, if you can understand 
uh, a lot of Christians do understand that uh, there's authority out there, just like an army, and, and uh, the demons, uh, the devil has authority, and he has his uh, soldiers and commandments and etc. etc. Mm -hmm. So he, you have so many demons around waiting for you to break a commandment, uh, to allow them in, in they come, and then they start making addiction with alcohol, addiction with drugs to you, and um, gambling, all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, and it says the Bible, stay away from these things. So, and once that happens in your life, um, if you're the man head of the house, then your wife can't respect you. She can't respect you because you're not the, the righteous one anymore. And therefore, you haven't got, that man hasn't got God in front. Mm. He's got another idol, which is alcohol, yeah. which is demons. Yeah. So this is where it goes wrong. You've got to always keep God as a centre, and your woman right. will respect you and follow you. That's right. the end of the days. That's right. Um, I think I explained that pretty well. I think so, Bob. Yep, yep. Bob. Um, so, yeah. where we, uh, that was Romans, was it? Yeah, no, that was uh, 1 John. Let's go to Romans 8, uh, 1 and 28, versus this will um, Romans. Uh, a bit of light to us. Right, Romans. Sorry. Romans. Romans 1. Ah, oh, sorry, 8. Yep. Uh, 1. Okay, first 1. Yeah. So, therefore, those in union with Christ Jesus have no condemnation. Exactly. Yeah. So no condemnation. When we're in Jesus, um, there is there is no condemnation. No condemnation. We we we, um, we are fully blessed. We have His grace and His mercies. Mm. So um, as as long as we we follow His 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 ways, and that's like in John fourteen verse six. Yes. So I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. No one comes. To the Father, except through me. So once we once we follow Jesus, His way, and His truth, and the life of Jesus, then we can come to the Father. Then we've got authority through Jesus to come through exactly. to the Father. Exactly. Yeah. And it's always going to be a struggle. The demon will always try and get to you and take take that authority away from you through uh, other pursues, like I just mentioned before, alcohol, etc. So we just have to keep in centre. Uh, cameraman have to yeah, adjust the, uh, adjust the uh, camera. Yeah. I'll edit this out again. So now we'll, we'll jump across. Uh, oh, actually, we're now we're Luke and uh, Luke ten nineteen. Oh, actually, we don't need to look up on this one. Yep. Uh, so Luke ten nineteen, uh, and it's, it goes, uh, "Look, for I've given you authority to trample underfoot serpents and scorpions, and all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means will do you harm." Well, in the Bible it says, well, do you hurt? Yeah. And um, mm. what book are we reading there? Um, the, so that's, uh, the, that was Luke 10, 9. Oh, the Bible itself is the, oh, the, the translation. Yeah, new, yeah, that's the New World Translation. translation. Yeah. So um, each Bible a bit different. But so yeah. to replay that again, uh, you, you be give, we've been given the authority. Mm. When we play within God's rules, we get given the authority. Yeah. We can trample up, uh, underfoot. Mm. Serpents, scorpions, which is all the nasties out there. Yeah. So that's uh, um, a biblical term. Serpent is um, demon, devil, 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 devil. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, they don't have authority over us. We've been given authority over them. Yeah. Back in the garden, we got given authority. It's just because people don't realise it. We can cast out demons. We can cast all these things out. Mm. But you've got to understand that you can do it uh, as long as you have God first. God can flow through you, and you can put all these uh, things into practice, which is what we have been given by God. Yeah. Um, and nothing will stand, nothing will, will harm you, well, nothing will do you hurt. Mm. So nothing that's will do us hurt. No, that's, you that's have right. to believe yeah. it, put the scripture in your heart, yeah. and trust in God's word, yeah. put him first, 
Yep. And oh. claim that you yes. that that you have received it. Believe it, claim it, and 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 believe yeah. that you have received it. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly right. Mm -hmm. yeah. we'll, we'll go to um, uh, Isaiah uh, twenty six three. Bob. All right. Okay, Bob. Isaiah 26.3 Okay, Isaiah 26 verse 3 states The inclination that is well supported you will safeguard in continuous peace because it is in you that one is made to trust. So it states that, that once we put all our trust and our belief in Jesus, we will see, we will reap the benefits. It's like sowing, sowing the seeds, isn't it? We, we sow the seed in good soil and we will reap a good harvest. So once we believe that, you know, um, uh, we, we are going to follow in Jesus' ways, in his, in his footsteps, mm -hmm. On his path, then we will reap the benefits. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So put him, put, put him first. Yeah. Um, be like Christ. It commands that in the Bible. Be, be Christ-like. Yeah. Um, you know, we all fall short, yeah. um, but you just have to persist with it, and um, life is good. And then we'll just jump into um, Deuteronomy um, eight eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Um, this is the one I'm. I'm uh, Start to learn yep. off by heart. Mm -hmm. I think I've got it written down. And uh, oh, yes, you have. In that note, yeah, that's there. it. That's all. Um, yep. I'll read this one. Um, Bob. Yep. Okay. Bob. Now, Deuteronomy eight eighteen. Mm -hmm. And you must. So you must remember Jehovah your God, because He is the giver of power to you to make wealth, in order to carry out His covenant that He swore to your forefathers as at this day. So what that's saying to us now um, is Jehovah, our God, has given power to you, to all of us, to make wealth. Now wealth doesn't just mean finances, it means that too. God doesn't want us to be poor. Wealth is um, yeah. happy, healthy relationships, right. yeah. uh, but, uh, good health, good health. Yeah. finances, yeah. Mm. Enjoyment, happy, happy, joy, joy. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. In order to carry out this covenant that he swore to mm. our forefathers, yeah. part of me. Mm. So it's been sworn. Yeah. God has given us His word. That's right. Mm. So His power. We have it all. To yeah, He has given His power to us to create a wealth for our for our life. Yeah, right. we just have yeah. to um, um, put into it into yeah. practice. That's right. You know, when we pray, we we should be praying things like. Um, not like uh, please Jesus um, allow me to get this job amen you should be praying like um, Lord I, I use my, my authority which you have given me yeah. uh, and I command this job to be mine um, or I command this relationship of mine to, to restore I command my health to, to, to be restored in the mighty name of Jesus yeah. uh, and you, if you quote scripture it makes it even more powerful. Yeah. So you should even write scripture down, like I do. That's right. And and, yeah. and memorize, memorize it yeah. over a week. I'll have that down yeah. packed, and uh, like I had with um, uh, Luke uh, ten nineteen. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, and and of course there's the the, the classic one, Bob of uh, mm -hmm. John three sixteen. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world that He gave. He gave. His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen for that. So, so what it but says is that He that, that God so loved. So it's 
you know, if you think capital S, capital O, so loved the world that he gave. Okay, so he didn't have many, many sons. He only had one son, and that was that's right, Jesus. Yes, and he he gave Jesus up on the cross at Calvary to die for our sins. Yeah, the blood washed us clean. Yeah, yeah, and that is how much God loves us. We 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 cannot com- comprehend how much He does. But it, it, it is enormous, mm. absolutely The world tries to hide that fact from yeah. us, but it's true. It's, yeah. um, That's right. Uh, it, what's yeah. in the Bible is, is true. Yeah. And it, it, it's it's an instruction manual on how to um, push yeah. a lawnmower, how to serve as a lawnmower. Yeah. Um, it, that's what it is. And where the yeah. lawnmower, it's instruction manual how to yeah. live. That's right. And once you put it into practice, put the scripture on your heart um, and live by that way. Don't let anything rock your boat. Just keep it steady and put God first. Yep. And an amen. Amen. It's all going to happen, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's relationships right. yep. will be all prosperous. Wealth, income, the whole lot. Health is all there. You'll live a good life. You'll um, be so blessed, so yes. blessed by 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 God, mm. um, that um, it, you will absolutely reap, reap the benefits. Okay. Um, uh, keys may come. Keys may come. Yes. Okay. I'm going to um, just play a couple of tunes mm-hmm. as a, right. you close. And um, okay. So. So I'd just like to just do add one more scripture, and that's one John four eighteen. So there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out all fear. So what what it means is that the fear is is just punishment. So so he uh, so indeed that he that is made under fear is not made perfect in love. So once we have that perfect love by God, um, then we can, we can be prosperous. Um, we, we, we have that perfect love. So once we don't have that perfect love, then we have that fear. And that fear is just going to create um, uh, for us. So as long as we have that love, that perfect love by God, we will... Grace and his mercies. Alright, alright. Now, um, we'll close in, in, in song. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Dear God, um, we just come together now as um, we uh, thank you for the word that uh, you put yes, in our Father hearts to, to share today. And thank you, Lord, Father. we just um, we do we do um, honor you and respect you, Father God. And um, we just thank you that uh, you allow us to do what we do. And um, yes, we thank Father. you for it and give us our our houses, our our income, and um, uh, our, our yes, chance to uh, share the message. Thank you. Pray that this message finds people that that need to hear it. And um, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Um, we are ask you to, to touch the hearts of people out there who watch this in your mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. And now. now, yep. Oh, bugger off! Go on. <laughs> Pick up the toilet paper. <laughs>